Whoever it is, they're in big trouble. They're losing power. We have to help them. Alien vessel, can you hear us? This is the star cruiser, Krista. Uh, Captain Harlan Band speaking. We have to show rain, don't we? Alien vessel. Starship Krista, Captain Harlan back. I hear you loud and clear. I've had a protomix blowout. I've lost all power. I'm all alone out here. Request permission to dock for emergency repairs. Stand by for a second, miss. Okay, we do the heroic thing and bring her aboard, right? Why ask me? You're the one who appointed yourself captain. That's right, I am. Besides, Stardog regulations say we have to respond to an emergency distress signal. Okay, look, we bring her in through the airlock, and I'll call Commander Goddard so that he can be there when we open the inner door. That's a good idea. And you can be vice captain. Assistant captain. First officer. Whatever. Attention, ship in distress. Stand by for docking. We'll get you all fixed up, no problem. You have the solemn promise of Captain Harlan Bay. What a great voice she had. You know, she sounded like an Andromeda. No way. Not with that voice. No, she's human. She's Andromeda. Human. Andromeda. All right, Ben. What's this I hear from Mr. Radu? Why did you let an unknown alien aboard this ship? No way! Uh-oh. She's a spunk! The eye of the future sees them. Five clever space cadets snuck aboard an alien ship, flung through a weird hole in space thousands of light years from the Academy. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but will they ever get home? Or are they forever destined to be space aces? help with my repairs yes we did this is my first officer radu and and this is uh commander seth goddard right right this is commander goddard our uh, our cook welcome aboard would you excuse us a moment something's burning cook stuff you understand what do you think you're doing she's a spawn she was in distress and the star dog code says that... i know what the star dog code says Got to get her off the ship. And, and I promised. I gave him my word as a captain. As a captain? That, that's another thing. I asked myself, what Commander Seth Goddard, Star Dog, would do? She was in distress. We have to keep our promise. It's a trick. Commander. You put us in a very dangerous situation, Harlan. What else could we have done, Commander? Left her there to die? That's what she'd do to us. Harlan's right got to help her but we keep a tight watch on her and as soon as her repairs are completed she's off this ship agreed 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 yep that trust you this fong enslaved my entire race your people started a galactic war the war was an awful thing for both sides mr radu but like you, I was only a child when it was happening. I had nothing to do with it. And another thing to do, the Spun don't let their females fight or have anything to do with policy decisions. They don't think they're smart enough. That's the reason I left and struck out on my own. Slavery and ignorance. 
What a fun race. You can't blame the mistakes of others on her because she's from the same planet. All I ever hear from you is that you don't trust me because Andromedans killed your father during the war. Well, it was the Spong who forced the Andromedans to fight that war. You heard her first officer, Radu. She didn't do it. And neither did I. Yeah, well, this is different. I'm sorry, Captain Harlemband. I didn't mean to cause trouble between you and your crew. We understand that. Amira, is it? Amira, the fact is that no matter what your explanation, we have to proceed with caution. We made our peace with the Andromedans, but the Spung are still hostiles. I understand. I only need to stay long enough to repair my navigation and communication system. In return, I'll offer you the use of my talents. Your talents? I'm an oracle. I see the future. You a fortune teller? If you wish, I'll do a projection for each of you. And Susie too, please? Susie's Catalina's imaginary friend. Uh, invisible? It's a trick. Look, we can't trust her. Hold it, dear. Considering your status, you can't be left unguarded at any time. You do understand that. I've already seen my own future, Commander. We will all do what we are destined to do. All right. If you're willing to keep her under constant watch, we'll provide assistance. I'm trusting you people not to screw up. May I ask a question, Captain Harlembine? Is the cook always this important on an Earthling starship? Um, it's an old Earth tradition. Uh, if the cook doesn't get his way, we don't get dessert. Oh. telling one shouldn't put too much faith in it really goodness ah uh, the sparkly dust ah uh, makes me wanna uh, uh. did that hurt do what hurt She's right over there. I'm Susie. She thinks she's her imaginary friend. Invisible. Whatever. A sneeze in time will make it true. All the trouble starts with you. We can't see who's coming here, but Catalina disappears. And Myra's predictions, they're coming true. That means I'm going to be a ghost. Oh, and it's my fault. I started it. The macro scanner says she's okay physically. I don't understand. We'll have to use the micro scanner. This should do it. Be careful, Rosie. I know what I'm doing. I think. Then I 
again. Maybe you don't. Uh, oh, no. I've got a thermal inversion. A Mercurian cold. A chilling fate I see for you. You will soon be very blue. I'm sorry, Rosie. It all started with my season time. I'm going to be a ghost. I am going to be a ghost. Maybe you don't have to be a real ghost. What other kind of ghost is there? Commander! What is it, Captain? You are never going to let me live that down, are you? What if Radu's right? You're worried, aren't you? Well, I, I hate to think that I endangered the crew. I guess I screwed up. Did I just hear you admit a mistake? It's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. You're starting to recognize that sometimes a star dog doesn't know everything. What if Radu is right? Deludium 235 intonator socket. I will get one for you. Attention! This is keep your signal and we are on our way. your repairs and leave the crystal. Is that your order, Captain Harlem Band? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, that comes from me. I know you're not the real captain here. I know that Commander Goddard is in charge. My repairs are almost complete. What about my fortune? began and then you'll understand the plan this all began where it all began we're going home <sighs> yes a hole in space that glows with light will take you all the way tonight <laughs> The white circle, Thelma. You're gonna find the white circle, and we're gonna go home. Not many star dogs live to say they've seen what you will see today. What does that mean? What does what mean? It sounded like bad news. And all of our predictions have come true. Not all of them. Not yet. There's another one. Come in, Post. Ready? Stay with her. Are you all right? There. A ghost on every wall, just as Elmira predicted. The way to control your destiny is to make it happen yourself. Now, I must moan for four days, just as Elmira said. I don't know, Miss Davenport. That's forcing it, don't you think? No, I don't think. Neither will you. Commander, the scanners are picking up something. Fire. 
fire and darkness, you will tame hero added to your name. Noble Radu, worthy and brave, those who scorn you, you will save. So it is an act, isn't it? No, it isn't. But I like to use sparkly dust because people like a performance. That's all. Holloman doesn't hate you, Radu. He's afraid of you. Afraid? Yes. Every time he looks at you, he's afraid that everything he knows is wrong. And so are you. Every time you look at me. Something big dropping out of hyperspace. Stand by for evasive maneuvers. Attention, this is Warlord Shanks of the Spunkill Cruiser Kazada. Stand by to surrender your ship or be destroyed. I was right. You tricked us. No, Radu. They're not after you. They're after me. They want me for my talents. They want to use my power for military purposes. We both are very much alike, Radu. We're both outsiders. We understand each other. Why should I believe you now? Maybe we should keep you as a hostage. Then Morla Chank will destroy all of us. If he can't have me, he'd rather kill me than let anyone else have the use of my powers. You've got to let me go, Radu. What if you want to get off the ship just so Warlord Shank can destroy us? Warlord Shank wanted to destroy the Krista. He would have done so already. Do you really think he'd worry about the life of a female Spung? If you hold me, he'll capture us all. And we're running out of time. Oh, my! Oh, oh, my! <laughs> How many people have seen a Spung kill cruiser up close and let to tell about it? How many? We live. We'll be the first. This could be a big mistake. You know it isn't. I don't know that. Then why did you change your mind? I'm trusting that you told the truth. About me, about Harlan. And all your other predictions came true. You're right. You are a powerful weapon. We can't let you be captured. and the resulting explosion will destroy you, too. You don't seriously expect me to fall for such an obvious bluff, do you? Ha! <laughs> nice try, Harley. Where is she? She got away. Stations, everybody. Prepare for hyperdrive. Let's see if we can outrun them. Not a problem. I have a surprise to announce. Commander, a modern ship is moving towards... Look! The white circle has returned. Just like Elmira said. It's going to take us back to where this all began. But Catalina says if we go in, we could be destroyed. If we stay here, we're dead anyway. And Elmira said that the white circle will be back to take us home. Yeah, but she didn't guarantee we'd get us home alive. We got no choice. Do it. Course laid in. Pressure's online. Bringing us around. Commander! The kill cruiser's moving to intercept. What about Elmira? Uh, I'm picking up a transmission. Attention, Krista. Guide for the white circle. It's your only chance. 11 seconds to interception. Punch it! Turn around, Elmira. Come with us. My destiny lies elsewhere.
back so I can help her. We can't! The white circle's rally down has got us! It's too late to break out! Hang on! We made it. It's over. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Look, Rosie and Catalina are back to normal. According to the White Circle, must have done it. Susie, are you all right? Oh, good. I'm back to normal, too. 200 degrees. Lovely. I can stop moaning now. Harlan, scan for the Star Academy. It's not here. It's just empty space. Scanning for position. Uh-oh. Elmira's predictions were wrong? No, I think she was right. We're back where this all began. Where the White Circle dropped us off the first time. Seven years, four months, and 22 days from home. Oh, no. You think Elmira survived? I don't know. She was outgunned, but she was small, maneuverable. I don't know. Do you think we'll ever see her again? I think so. Did she predict that? No. I'm predicting it. Okay.